situation, you know, that people find themselves in when they have different problems, you know, feeling inferior or maybe not feeling good enough and they take it out on other people. Um, I would say that it's bothering someone persistently over time in different ways it can be emotionally or physically intimidating them over a long period of time. The definition I have is a continued teasing or bothering of somebody over an extended period of time. It means a bigger person taking advantage of a smaller person. Someone being picked on, you know, that doesn't really want to get picked on. I think bullying is very bad. Um, it lets you know a lot about the, the bully telling you that they may have some insecurities about themselves, so they like to pick on people just to make themselves feel better. I think that it's really a tragic situation. I think it's really unfortunate when, when people are the victims of bullying. I was bullied in elementary school, yeah. Uh, by this older, I think he may have been in like fifth grade and I was maybe in third grade or something like that. I would say in middle school I was probably both a bully and bullied at different times. First of all, when I was a kid, we called things bullying that would probably not be called bullying today. Just sort of being obnoxious over and over and over again. So I would say I bullied people and that didn't make me feel very good about myself, but it was when I was uncomfortable. I think bullying is like I think bullying is just something that makes people think that they're cool and popular. I consider myself being a victim of, <laughs> of a bully, but not a bully, no. Maybe me feel like I didn't want to go to school sometimes. I didn't really want to be around him or whatever else. Didn't want to, you know, be the uh, be the person that was joked on, you know. So, but it made me feel really bad. Um, I remember being teased in elementary school, and it definitely didn't make me feel good. There was a boy in my class that used to always talk about how puffy my hair was, and it didn't make me feel well. I used to not cry about it, but I didn't feel good about it. I always tried to find different ways to wear my hair so, <laughs> so wear my hair so that it wouldn't be so puffy. I have, yeah. So when I was in sixth grade, a uh, buddy of mine was uh, was getting in a fight, and although I didn't save him from getting beaten up, um, I was able to kind of step up for him. When I see bullying, I I try and intervene. probably have instigated something, you know, uh, in my life, which isn't good, so, yeah, and I probably sometimes just stood around too. Some people actually don't know the effects of bullying that it has on other people, in addition to themselves. It's not right to pick on people just because they're that person, their personality. Because they make fun of someone else, that'll make them look cool to their buddies. And you're popular, and you think, oh, they make fun of somebody else, it brings them down, so it raises you up. Um, bullying usually affects somebody's self esteem, um, which usually lowers it. Um, nobody feels good from bullying. I do not like bullying because it like hurts people, and like a few months ago, there was this boy named Cody Barnes. He, he committed suicide. I think it's wrong. I hate it. You know, um, I definitely think it's wrong. It shouldn't be done. Um, I don't know how to stop bullying. I wish I did. I think kids having more self-esteem would help, but I don't know how to give kids more self-esteem. I don't think it enough to be stopped. I think.
think it should be. I mean, I think it should be some discipline to uh, put in schools or wherever the bullying is going on at, so it can be controlled better. It should be certainly a punishment for it, but it should be if you suspend the kid, that doesn't address the issue. So you need to work with the kid a little bit more closely. And bullying can be stopped by people learning first of all how to love one another and how to talk it over if they have problems or issues with another person. I think that they should show a video of how bullying is wrong and how it's done. Because some kids, like on a lot of TV shows, lovers are crying all over the world because their children are being bullied, and mostly in America. Get serious enough where they're really, um, you know, really causing you physical harm, um, especially if they're adults. They need to go to jail. Um, but if they're like older teens and they're doing like a lot of physical harm to you, then yeah, I think they should go to jail. Um, but if they're like kids like your age and you know, middle school, elementary school, I think uh, some counseling or talking with some peer mediators can definitely help. I don't know if jail would. Help. I think maybe some kind of rehabilitation or therapy might help for those who are being bullied. And those are being bullied as well. Because you never know what's going on in that child's uh, home, how they are growing up, or what's in their background. So, yeah, I think therapy would be a better option.